A lot of people do this because it's it's got the best workout and explosion for your legs. Basically, you do this with a partner. Trainer will stand on one end, partner on the other, and they hold the board. The whole time, I'm gonna stay as low as I can until I land. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this leg up to right here, and all that's gonna do is put all the pressure on this leg so I can explode off of one side. I'm gonna lift this leg up here, and I'm gonna be a little bit of an angle, and then you push out Woo, as hard as I can. I'm gonna push out to this side. Okay, so I'm gonna come up, slide. Come up, slide, up, slide, up, slide. That basically helps you whenever I'm lit on a base and I'm stealing, what do you do? I turn, I load, I push, it's all the same thing. If I'm hitting with my right side, I load and what do I do? I push, bah! you know, to get generate power into the ball. So basically this right here is a great leg workout, full leg workout, everything just like roller skating. And also it works on explosion at the same time. It's like running a sprint, so you're very out of breath and the legs start to burn a little bit from constantly being in a squat. You'll feel outsides of your calves. We'll feel a lot of pressure because whenever I load up and I push, I'll push it on the outside and inside part of my calf and I go back. When I, when I land, it's on off of the muscles, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The motion of the explosion off of each side from leg to leg is what everybody uses in everything. So we'll get into this next go around. I'm gonna do this sled over here, which is actually just concentrated on like a squat. Now, what I like doing whenever I lift weights like this is I'll do heavier weight, less reps to build strength and mass. When I extend my legs from back to forward, I wanna keep my legs bent. I never want to extend all the way flat. It's way too much pressure on my knees. The leg power movement isn't from all the way back to my chest to extension. It's what's in between. But what I work on is I keep my feet as straight as I can towards the sky. I don't want to turn too much. Like I said, it puts too much pressure on the outside parts of my leg. I keep my knees bent. This is as far as I'm going to go. And I try to keep my back as flat on this as I can. I go down to where I feel it and I explode up as hard as I can. You don't have to get all the way in here with it. That's too much because you don't have enough muscle power in your legs to use to pull all that off your chest. So you want to go down to where you feel everything in your leg is good enough for you to go down. Me, it's just here and then explode up as fast as I can without straightening my leg. Down, explode up, down, explode up. The five reps on the sled and the explosion on that is for the power and the strength. We'll now move to lunge. What I do is work on my form, keeping my chest up. I step out, I don't want to step too far. I want to step out far enough to where I can concentrate on sinking my hips into the floor instead of squatting. You don't want to keep your back leg straight. You don't want your body to go over. You want to keep your posture as you're walking. So I step out, keep my posture, act like I have a lot of weight on my hips, sink my hips down to where my knee almost touches the ground. I'm on the balls of my feet and I'm up, down, up. Form is everything. So if I can concentrate on keeping my form in this exercise, my toes straight, if I can stay as straight as I can the whole time, like a robot, forward. All these movements is what helps in every part of the, of the lunge. Ankles, calf, full quad, hammy, everything is used in this particular one. It's both legs and not just one. <laughs>